Layer 2 Ethernet services are not replacing Layer 3 IP MPLS VPNs. These services are coexisting. Service providers are utilizing hybrid WAN VPLS at Layer 2 and IP VPNs at Layer 3 as a long-haul mesh solution, particularly for customers with sizable or complex networks, especially global networks. In this case, customers utilize high bandwidth Ethernet WAN VPLS ports, usually at 100 meg or above, at larger capacity sites like headquarters or regional data centers. And they utilize lower speed Ethernet access or e-access connections at IP MPLS VPN service sites, usually at geographically remote locations. According to enterprise network managers that Vertical talks to, price is the primary purchase decision factor, particularly in today's economy. Total recurring cost of ownership is especially a challenge for customers with larger networks. But following price, service availability is the most important decision factor. Enterprise network managers want to know, is the service available at all of my network locations? Enterprises also need to accommodate their own users' requirements for more bandwidth, but at the same time control network services costs. With Ethernet services, they can increase their bandwidth at a lower average cost per bit as compared to TDM private lines or frame ATM services. They also like the flexibility to scale bandwidth directly to their needs say in 1, 10, or 100 megabit increments, up to gigabit speeds, which is not possible with legacy services. Many customers also prefer Layer 2 Ethernet services versus Layer 3 IP VPNs for efficient transport of non-IP applications, including traditional voice and video. Application security is another Layer 2 consideration for some enterprises because customers can control their own routing tables. Pricing is a challenge for both service providers and customers. Although Ethernet services provide a boost in bandwidth, the bottom line for customers is the impact on their monthly services costs. Prices vary by many elements, so price comparisons are difficult. Service providers are struggling with how to price their IP MPLS services versus their emerging VPLS services. Providers wonder if this is a migration opportunity or cannibalization of their existing legacy base. Should it be priced to encourage enterprise network managers to make a technology decision, meaning layer two versus layer three? Or should VPLS services be priced as a premium service? 